Hello and welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's topic is connective tissue and its type. Connective word is actually made up of connect which means combine, attach or support. While the tissue mean a group of cells that have similar structure. So the connective tissue is the tissue that connects and support other types of tissues in the body it means that it is going to connect two or different types of tissues together for example we have this one kind of tissue here and the other kind of tissue here in the body these two tissues they are connected with each other by the help of connective tissues now the connective tissue it is found everywhere in the body and this is the reason that all the tissues inside the body they are together and forming a particular shape and giving a particular shape to the human body connective tissue is made up of three main components cells protein fibers and ground substance here in this diagram you can see these are the cells these are the protein fibers here you can see different types of fibers may be present elastic fiber or the collagen fiber well this part here which is labeled as matrix is actually the ground substance fiber and ground substance they combine together to form extracellular matrix that surround the cell so these cells they are actually surrounded by the ground substance and protein fibers which are making the extracellular matrix now the term connective tissue was coined in 1830 by Peter Muller. Let's study one by one the types of connective tissues. First type of connective tissue is loose connective tissue. Second one is dense connective tissue. Third one is special connective tissue. Loose connective tissue contains cells and fibers which are loosely packed along with this loose connective tissues have less amount of fibers if you remember the diagram the fibers these kind of material present in the diagram these are the fibers the loose connective tissues they contain less amount of these fibers in case of dense connective tissue the fibers they are tightly packed also dense connective tissues they have high amount of fibers you can remember it like that if there are so many trees present in a particular area that area is very dense and difficult to pass through similarly in the case of dense connective tissue so many fibers are present that they are giving a dense impression or they are making the dense connective tissue well special connective tissue contains cell fiber and ground substances let's study some examples the example of loose connective tissue is adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is made up of adipocytes which are fat cells and the fat droplets they are stored inside these cells. Adipose tissue is present around kidney and under the skin and provides energy, insulation and support to the organs. The example of dense connective tissue is cartilage. Cartilage is made up of cartilage cells which are present in the matrix. They are present at the end of the bones in the ear. The, the soft part of the ear is actually the cartilage. Along with this it is present in the nose and trachea. Now what is the purpose of this cartilage is that it cushions all the joints that it prevents them from the friction or damage and allows the smooth movement of the joints. The example of special connective tissue is bone. The bone tissue are actually made up of osteocytes which are the bone cells and these cells they are present in the hard matrix. Bone cells they store minerals which is actually calcium and phosphorus. They provide support and protect the vital organs for example the skull is protecting the brain similarly the ribs they are protecting the lungs and heart along with this the bone they enable the movement and they also provide the attachment site for the muscles and the tendons another example of special connective tissue is blood blood is made up of red blood cells white blood cells platelets and plasma 
the main purpose of blood is to transport gases which are oxygen and carbon dioxide along with this nutrients to the lungs or the other tissues of the body along with this blood is useful because it will form the clots and it will prevent the loss of blood if the clotting is not formed the loss of blood will be too much that it can cause the death of the person another thing is that it helps in the fight against infection for example if any kind of bacteria or some kind of pathogen gains entry inside the body the blood cells specifically the white blood cells they will attack on that pathogen and then it will destroy it in this way it is protecting the body from the harmful bacteria and pathogens so that was all about the connective tissue and its types if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video